Now, in line seven, he's saying, all who hate me whisper together against me. Against me, they devise my hurt. An evil disease, they say, clings to him. And now that he lies down, he will rise up no more. Even my own familiar friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. All right. And so now we have David is talking to himself. And then now it's like he's been taken in his spirit because why? He's getting ready to speak something, uh, a prophecy that's going to be fulfilled in the New Testament. All right. So in line seven, let's talk about it. All who hate me whisper together against me. So when you hate somebody, you know, you're not going to come out and just say like hating on people. You're going to whisper, you're going to backbite against somebody, you're going to stab people in the back, and you're not going to be forward um, with that hate. It's going to be very deceptive. It's all who hate me whisper together against me. Against me, they devise my hurt. So he, they're saying they, he, they're plotting to hurt him. And then look what they said in eight against him. An evil disease, they say, clings to him. So, and that evil disease, it says like a thing of Belial. That's like, Belial is another name for, for the devil. All right, so it's like a, uh, an evil disease from, from the devil, they say, clings to him. All right, and now that he lies down, he will rise up no more. All right, so now that he's like on that bed of sickness, they think he's not going to get up. And a lot of times when people get down and sick and stuff, oh, you think, oh, that's the end of them. You know, they're on their way out. They're getting ready to leave this world. Oh, well, well, you know what? Man can't say when somebody's going to die. God knows when we came in this world and he knows when we're leaving. And like one of my, uh, my dear friends, you know, was telling me when she was in a hospital, when I went to visit her, all our days are numbered and God knows the number. And that means a lot. That means a lot. And that means a lot to me when she, uh, she spoke that to me. All right. So, and by the grace of God, she got off of that sick bed and went home today. Praise Jesus. So can't count people out. All right. So now it says even, uh, so he's saying, and now that he lies down, he will rise up no more. Line nine, even my own familiar friend and whom I trusted. All right. Now let's stop there in that a part of nine. Okay. Even my own familiar friend and whom I trusted, it gives us a reference scripture to second Samuel 5, 12. I'm sorry, 2 Samuel 15, 12. That says, Then Absalom sent for Ahithophel, the Gilonite, David's counselor, from his city, namely from Gilo, while he offered sacrifices. And the conspiracy grew strong, for the people with Absalom continually increased in number. All right? And so... Um, this is part of, uh, this scripture is part of Absalom's rebellion. Remember he was trying to, he rebelled against his father, David, and he wanted to, uh, overthrow David from the throne. Okay. And then, so, and continually increase in number that sends us to Psalm three, one. Let's see what that says. I think that's when all the enemies are around. Let's see. Three, one. I said, Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Many are they who rise up against me. All right. And so, and that is true. And so a lot of people were, were conspiring against David. They were joining Absalom's side instead of uh, staying on David's side. Okay. So now uh, let's look at going back to 9b in Psalm 41. It says, who ate my bread. All right has lifted up his heel against me. Now that's going to bring us to the new Testament and talk about these prophetic scriptures. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause it here and then we'll pick it up and talk about it in, um, in the next, uh, segment.